practice standard for project configuration management page 1 to 20 <clears throat> this is the content preface chapter 1 introduction relationship with other standard purpose of the practice standard how to use this practice standard what what this practice standard is not why apply cpm pcm key point audience chapter 2 configuration management planning overview organization communication training configuration management and pcm chapter 3 configuration identification Project Artifact, Structure, Item, Identification, Taxonomy, Scheme. Chapter 4, Configuration, Change, Management, Overview, Identification, Process, Control, Assessment, and Approval, Implementation, Verification, and Acceptance, and Closure. Chapter 5, Configuration, Status, Accounting, and Metrics, Information, Repository, Reporting, and Analysis. Chapter 6, Configuration, Verification, and Audit. Verification, audit, verification, and audit activities. Appendix A, guidelines for project management institute practice standard. Appendix B, evolutions of the practice standard on project configuration management. Appendix C, contributors and reviewers of the practice standard on the project configuration management. Appendix D, examples and audit additional configuration management. Information. Appendix E, sample configuration management process and forms. Appendix F, additional resource of information on configuration management, glossary and index. List of table and figures. FMEA, justification for CPM. Overlap of project and deliverables configuration items. See a PCM and CM interface, PCM communication system and human interfaces, harmonizations of project and discipline CM, PCM and discipline CM, the hierarchy of control mechanism involving CCM, CCM process, exhibit closed loop process from the Institute of Configuration Management. Sample outlines for configuration management CM plan, change control form. Pre-paste this project management system PMI practice standard on project configuration management PS PCM add to the PMI continuing commitment to support the project management professional with a defined body of knowledge and standard. PMI, a guide to the project management body of knowledge. Third edition PM book guide document. Some of the overall project management body of knowledge PM book guide. Third edition is approved as an American national standard by the American National Standard Institute and is a leading international standard for project management. This document is an extension and elaborations of the sections of PIMBOK Guide, third edition, that defines the processes, technique, and tools used in project configuration management, PCM. This is standards is a guide and preference from the project manager, team, and other stakeholder for understanding PCM and applying it appropriately in the project. Effective project management requires consistent and repeatable processes and methodologies to manage the constraint of scope, time, cost, and quality, and to ensure project success. The project management professional applies configuration management to actively guide the project directions and create the project inter infrastructure that enables successful completion. These standards acknowledge PCM as a supporting discipline to the project process during the project life cycle. The PSPCM is organized onto the following focus area. Introduction provides the basis of the development of these standards and how it may be used by the project manager. Configuration management and planning introduce PCM concept and their relationship 
to project management. Configuration identification identifies project item that may be under control of PCM and provides guidance on identifying the structuring and in the information. Configuration chains management provides guidelines in order to identify chains within the project. Configuration status accounting and metrics gives example of the tools and technique that can be employed to objectively, objectively measured progress and maturity of the item subject to PCM. Configuration verification and audit describes how independent scrutiny can assess a project team to confirm that the work done has the work intended. Chapter 1 Introduction Project Configuration Management PCM is the collective body of process, activities, tools, and methods used to manage certain items during the project life cycle. These items are normally referred to as configuration items, CIS. <laughs> configuration management, CM, typically describes the mechanism for managing the physical state of this item during their life cycle. As with any other profession, this body of knowledge rests with the practitioner who apply and advance it. The practice standard on project configuration management PSPCM is consistent with a guide to the project management body of knowledge PM book guide third editions and provide additional information on the practice of CPM P, PCM. <coughs> the PSPCM spans all controls functions found in section 3 of the PM book guide third edition including the integrated chains control found in chapter 4. The PSPCM describes the fundamental of CM for practitioners of project management. Objectives includes explaining the concepts and benefits of CM in the context of the project management. Describe the type of processes used to apply CM as a project management tools. Presenting good practices in CM in the context of the project management Promoting a common lexicon on applying CM across projects. This chapter defines and explains several terms provided on the overview of the standard and include in the following major section. Relationship with other standard. Purpose of this practice standard. How to use this practice standard. What this standard is not. Why apply PCM. Key point and audience. 1.1 Relationship with Other Standard The PSPCM provides guidelines that are relevant to the project manager and project team on the requirements and responsibilities on the sound CM system to their project. The PSPCM is aligned with the other PMI national and international standard as well as the common practice within the field of the project management. The following are examples of existing configuration management standard. ASME Y14.35M 1997 R2003 Revisions of Engineering Drawing and Associated Documents AIE -E 649 National Consensus Standard and for Configuration Management IEEE -E 1042 1987 R 1993 Guide to Software Configuration Management ISO 10007 Quality Management System Guidelines for Configuration Management The ASME and IEE standard provides detailed guidance for a specific discipline and the types of items many projects have CM requirements that are not described in such discipline-oriented standard, the IEE 649 information is very detailed and prescriptive to many provide to details to be readily useful to the project manager. The guidelines in ISO 1007 provide very general and high-level information useful in understanding basic same concept. However, it does not provide the project manager with an understanding of the impact 
that CM can have on a project. The PSPCM provide perspective and insight applicable to all types of the project managing chains is regularly responsible for the project management practitioner. Controlling chains is the process of configuration control. CM is the parent of configuration control. The PSPCM provides guidance to the project manager and project team for establishing or ensuring the establishment of a sound of CM process for the life of the project. The practitioner, the practice standard provides the what, when, and why the CM for implementations on the project. Purpose of this practice standard. This standard provides guidance as the most appropriate processes and tools in well-designed configuration management system, thereby allowing the project program and portfolio managers to determine if appropriate control are in place. This standard is written for the wide audience that includes program managers, portfolio managers, project managers, project team members, and project stakeholders. PCM is generally recognized as a good practice for the project that are technical and non-technical minors and major foreign and domestic and for project within any industry. How to use this practice standard? This practice standard is intended to provide guidance on the processes and tools related to PCM as a foundation reference. This standard is neither comprehensive nor all-inclusive and may be used in all in the discretions of the project management team. This practice standard identifies the described a subset of CM that is generally recognized as good practice per project and that is applicable to most projects most of the time. Readers should therefore use this question in applying the information contained within the documents to any specific project or situation. Appendices A and F and G provides additional tools and information including source of further information regarding CM. What this practice standard is not. This practice standard is not a textbook, regulation, or legal document. It is not industry-specific, nor it is how to guide for CM. <clears throat> Why apply CPM? Effective project management requires consistent and repeatable process or methodologies that manage the constraint of the scope, time, cost, and quality, and to ensure project success. The project management professional applies CM to actively support the project directions and infrastructure. CM applies over the life cycles of configuration item, provides visibility and control of its performance, function, and physical attributes. CM supports the following aspects of all configuration items, CIs, contained in any system. Integrity, accountability, visibility, reproductivity, reproducibility, coordination, formal controllability, and traceability. To accomplish the preceding attributes, PCM may utilize consistent and reusable tools within the processes of the project planning, execution, and control. CM is a critical. Figure 1-1 illustrates a failure mood and effect analysis FEMEA, that supports the use of PCM. When PCM techniques are applied, many benefits are gained including maintaining the integrity of CIS. Communication interference are clearly and contains applicable information. Record are available to support project or customer auditing requirements. Historical information regarding deliverables, CIS can be utilized through the deliverables life. Integration between planning, execution, and change control helps keep requirements and the end result of the project synchronized and ensuring only approved chains are incorporated into a revised configuration item. 
project configuration management is composed of failure mode effect cost and proposed control failure mode project deliverables and working papers fail to align conflict with each other impact overlay each other or are used inappropriately effect project fails to meet requirements commitments or expectations of the stakeholder cause inconsistent or incorrect configuration management of project resources and work product proposed control develop and deploy a new configuration management standard that is suitable for the needs of the project areas of concern product domain within project often have pcm for domain specific item example software engineering diagram and formulas project managers needs pcm for the process specific items example plans contract agreement assignment status report dashboard and scorecard cross-discipline artifact example those possible throw it throw of as either project management item and domain specific item such as requirements present a special problem because they are possible subject to pcm in both domain specific and project method pcm is project configuration management figure 1.1 femea justification for cpm 1.6 key point some of the key point address within this practice standard are listed in this section they are discussed within the practice standard and help clarify the depth of pcm cm planning often goes beyond the band of the project to ensure coordinations of the project with its surrounding environment and to ensure integrations of the project into a larger applications of necessary this external consideration should be documented as part of the project requirements in earlier stage of the project to ensure the project integration is addressed plan and documented pcm requires human and system interference with other project processes to ensure the plans and priorities of cm align with those of the overall project plan clearly defined project interfaces for ensuring effective and efficient communication among project stakeholder supplier customer and system are needed for integrations of cm requirements and compliance pcm provides a, pro a proactive perspective to the interdependent project management process of initiating planning executing controlling and closing this perspective address the planning of for change within all of the project management processes as far in advance as possible cm as well as established practice in many disciplines however projects are often cross-disciplinary endeavor and a specific discipline often have their own configuration management strategies and procedure a challenge for the project manager is to plan and execute pcm on project ci's while harmonizing with the cm needs capabilities of all the discipline engaged in the project controlling changes to provide project baseline is a fundamental pcm function early in the planning the project team should be determined the project items requiring configuration management and the processes of managing them some project may be required to maintain configuration information and their very strict control mandated by a government or industry regulation in these cases external circumstances or organizational policies establish the processes and policies that the project will follow these processes and policies are described in the project plan specifically in the documentation describing the change control system pcm ensures audit report summarize checklist action item status deliverables and other related documentation are retained and available in timely and informative manner for stakeholders project managers and senior management 
to review at any point in time to determine the project health. 1.7 audience. This practice standard provides a basic reference for anyone interested in project configuration management. This includes senior executive, project manager, project team member, and a stakeholder, consultant in the field of project management. For configuration management practitioner, the sole intentions of this practice standard is to provide an understanding of how their processes may impact the project. Chapter 2, Configuration Management Planning As with all planning processes described in PIM Book Guide 3rd Edition, the Configuration Management Planning Process Plan, all aspects of PCM, this chapter describes the considerations of planning and managing PCM. It explains the context of PCM and the relationship with good CM practices. It also highlights how vital communications of PCM is and provide descriptions to the human and the system interference interfaces for CM. It includes the following major section overview. Organization, communication, training, CM, and PCM. So that is 2.1 to 2.5. 2.1 overview. 2.1 overview. The PM Book Guide 3rd Edition identifies tools which are used to successfully accomplish the project. The tools such as a project charter, project baseline, and project change control log provide the basis for a record of the project performance in meetings and scope time, cost, and quality. They identify the provide impact assessment of changes to the plan, scope, schedule, and budget as the project progresses. The tools promote communication to ensure that the project outcome meets stakeholder needs. Configuration management is the discipline that helps ensure that the post-project functionality is planned and documented. PCM requires vary by project for minimal of effort to the prime purpose of the project. For example, an increase to the authorized speed limit on the local highway requires a project to replace 10 speed limit sign faces. The configuration management effort may be limited to identifying the sign faces that requires replacement and updating the sign inventory to reflect the changes. The owner of the new car wash requires a project to build the facility. The configuration management effort may include developing a master equipment list identifying each physical components in the facility, including parts, identification, approved suppliers, and maintenance requirements and schedules and maintenance history as well as managing the development of the facility changes in customers eating habits requires a project to develop a new capability to constantly allocate reallocate the shelf refrigerator and freezer space the configuration management effort may include planning and providing automated tracking system that integrates the optimized product sales and inventory with available space to showcase the product. Figure 2 does one illustrates relationship among project and deli deliverables configuration item CI. For a self-contained project with no clients, example contributors or other of the applications of deliverables for items resulting from the project, CM may be a subset of the project management plan. 2.2 Organization A project is generally organized with the project sponsor acting as the single point of the contract for the project stakeholder. The project sponsor typically delegates requirements for the, for the required level of configuration management CM to the project team through the project manager. The project manager is therefore responsible for coordinating the effort of the project team to ensure that the project approach to CM is aligned with the requirements and expectations of the stakeholder. This is a consideration because the output of the project can be an interference or an input to the stakeholder's own configuration process 
or system note that the stakeholder can have their own CM processes and system. For a small or simple project where minimal coordinations or planning is required, the project manager may also act as the configuration manager on large or complex projects. A separate configuration manager may be appointed to interface between the project team and the individual application stakeholder. At the project level, PCM issues are addressed in the PCM plan. The PCM plan could include authorities, roles, responsibilities, and disciplines involved, identifications of controlled item, example configuration item, CI, configuration control process and procedure, status accounting, and met metrics definition, and list of PCM audit and procedures as well as their relationship to project schedules. Figure 2 does to illustrate typical interference interface required to address PCM and CM interface, overlap of project and product domain items, project items, overlapping items, application items, project items, compo compost of a schedule, project plan, issue logs, risk assessment, status report, scope items, overlapping items, Compose of CM plan, master equipment list, spare parts list, procurement control, modification records, accountable documents. Application items composed of maintenance record, software code, technical manuals, procurement records, and drawings. Project domain and project domain overlap on the project and deliverables configuration items. Project CM integration and product, project items, product items. The project is composed of integration management, scope management, time management, cost management, quality management, human resource management, communication management, risk management, procurement management. CM integration is composed of project configuration management, same interface, same requirements, product configuration management, and same compliance. The product is composed of service and finance, sales and marketing, customer service, product processes engineering, facilities management, information technology, manufacturing and production, logistic and transportation, health, safety, and environment. So figure 2 does 2 is PCM and CM interface. 2.3 Communication Sound Fundamental Quality can Communication are fundamental for the integrations of BCM activities into the project management plan. Communication also a key process for the management of BCM appoints of interaction. Good interface management is the essential for the systematic communications of BCM information and control of the points of interaction. Figure 2 does 3 illustrates a simple PCM communication system and the flow of PCM chains information for the project. The arrows show the flow of information. So the project is composed of poor management or communication. Communication policy and method going to project. Configuration management input going to project. Project team and stakeholder input and output to the project. The output of the project. PCM communication. PCM requires human and system interfaces with other project processes to ensure plans and priorities of CM align with those of the overall project plan. Clearly defined project interface provide effective and efficient communication among the project stakeholder supplier, customer, and systems. In PCM, communication interface are categorized as human and system interfaces. Figure 2 does for defect, project, human, and system interfaces. 2.3.1 human interfaces. Human interfaces cover the complex communication between people or groups of people. For PCM, the human interfaces are categorized as 
internal or external. Internal interfaces are those among the people engaged on the project and the project activities. These interfaces may be either formal and described in project documents or informal where project members proactively develop solution through the communications of information. Informal interfaces as a minimum should be followed up with the communications of discussion to verify that there is indeed agreement with the conclusions of the discussions and to ensure a history of the discussion is documented. The informal interfaces develop as project members learn how to avert and solve problems through communications of information. The external interfaces involves communication among the project team and persons outside the team. Such interface can be with the stakeholder suppliers and supporting organization. Other external interfaces may be the end user supplier impacted by the chains related to the defined PCM. Defining external interfaces provides a means of communication method and channel to integrate the external end user within the chain's process. 2.3.2 System Interfaces System interfaces are the artifact created to share data between system and between systems and humans. System interfaces are defined by processes and are described in formal documents such as a project scope management plan. System interfaces also deal with establishing processes and structure that ensure compliance with regulations and standard. In most project system interfaces concern the various application specific CME standard and process related to practice disciplines. Project CM project and application discipline go to system interfaces, deliverables, application interfaces, and human interfaces, sponsor organizational project team work group individual figure two does for system and human interfaces, project configuration management, project and application discipline. 2.4 training. In some cases, complex project requires formal training for the project stakeholders to understand the need requirements develop and maintenance of a seat of the PCM plan and related activities. <coughs> 2.5 configuration management and PCM project are often cross disciplinary endeavor. Specific disciplines will often have their own CM strategies and procedure. A challenge for the project manager is to plan and execute CM on Project CI while harmonizing with the CM needs and capabilities of all the discipline engaged in the project. The term harmonization is used to describe a condition where the configuration management system of the project manager manage unique CIs do not conflict the con practice schedules or resource usage and share lexicon and vocabulary needed for effective interface communication among stakeholder figure to the spy describe the harmonization concept figure to the six expand on the concept harmonization multiple approach to pcm on the project involving several discipline figure to the six also shown some of these considerations in assuring that PCM and Discipline CM works together on the project. <clears throat> CM harmonization is composed of project configuration management, CM interfaces, disciplinary configuration management, CM compliance, and CM requirements. The project configuration management, it, the output will go to project management artifact and the same requirements or disciplinary configuration management is a disciplinary artifact. Same harmonization assure that the various same discipline, disciplines in use of the project are properly aligned and that all the disciplinary CM controls are 
subordinate under the project configuration management successful harmonization requires that every potential configuration item on the project be covered by one and only one configuration management procedure and that all CM procedures are properly synchronized and coordinated. Project configuration management assures that all artifacts of the project are managed and controlled under CM, including those associated with any harmonized integrated project discipline. CM integration assures that all CM artifacts under disciplinary CM procedures are managed as configuration items under project configuration management, specifically project configuration management, those CM of the disciplinary CM artifacts. Figure 2 does 5 harmonizations of project and discipline CM configuration management. Project CM and Discipline CM, Harmonization Project Management CM, Project Management Configuration Discipline X, Configuration Management, Discipline Configuration Item, Discipline Y CM, Discipline Configuration Item, Discipline Z CM, Discipline Configuration Item. Harmonization. Assuring that the same items are covered under only one same process. Assuring that same process is scheduled and dependencies are aligned. Assuring that differences across disciplines are reconciled proactively. Assuring that cross discipline CM risk is visible knowledge. Chapter 3, Configuration Identification throughout the, life, throughout the life of the project, information is needed to help direct and manage the project. Creating, modifying, and storing this information is an important part of the project. This chapter describes what to identify on the project that may be placed under PCM control. The chapter begins describing what to look for identifying project information and item that may be under the control of the PCM process. It also provides guidance in structuring the information so that it is more accessible to those who need it. Parts of the structuring involves determining what items need to have and assign identifiers and then giving them a unique identification to allow them to be managed as configuration items. This chapter includes the following major section, Project Artifact, Structure, Item Identification, Taxonomy Scheme. 3.1 Project Artifact From a very beginning of the project, documents and other artifacts are created that helps manage the project and provide communication to the project team, stakeholders, management and other some documents and other artifacts describe the project itself and its various characteristics. For instance, the project charter lay out what the project is intended to accomplish and requirements definition identifies the expected capabilities of the final project deliverables. Other information explain the agreed upon relationship between the various organizations that are either parts of the project or that supports it. Included here might be contract with vendor, subcontractors, and suppliers as well as agreement for support with other groups within the same organization. The following lights has many examples of information that could be under control of BCM. Change information, contract, cost artifact, invitations per bed, and metrics. Organization breakdown, structure, planning documents, project management plan, quality plan, risk register, schedule information, statement of work, work breakdown structure. This list should not be considered as required information for every project. It is provided simply to illustrate possible documents for a variety of the project. 
the actual collections vary from one project to another and in all likelihood includes only a few of these items as well as additional items that are specific to a particular project or organizational policy. 3.2 structure. Structure as with any important collections of information, a method of structuring project documents and artifacts under PCM is needed. The most basic structuring requirements is for a filing system that makes it possible to organize and the information for efficient storage retrieval and use of it may also address other project needs including information format information format project information may exist in two forms electronic and hard copy and both need to be structured appropriately of the project although the method used differ the objective is the same making it possible to efficiently manage project documents and artifacts with the right balance of accessibility storage indexing security and recover recoverability rapid access it is important that information frequently used by the project manager and core project team is easily accessible to facilitate this some project managers create what they call a project binder maybe either electronic or hard copy this binder contains such item as a project and the stopping plans contact information various report budget information or other in reference information broad availability it is also important for information used by several members of the project team to be kept in an easily accessible location a typical method is to have the information in computer-based files with secure network access computer-based files permit all members of the team access to the same current information quickly from any location having computer access including over the internet this is particularly important for the project whose team is geographically dispersed. Care should be used in administering the control for adding, updating, or deleting the information to ensure that only authorized chains are permitted and that these are made in the correct versions of the artifact. Secure access. Some information may be sensitive. For such information, proper access controls can be used to limit access. To only those people who have need to view and change the information personal and budgeting information as some of the correspondence requires a special treatment to safeguard personal and organizational information properly implemented access controls can help ensure data and information integrity information recovery a plan for recovering in a project documents or artifact that is lost or otherwise made inaccessible is another important element of the information storage plan a recovery plan defines how the project artifacts are backed up when and how frequently and the recovery process for special items an example of the specific items is the recovery of an older version information retention Occasionally, situations arise with older information that has been replaced with more current information need to be referenced. A plan for achieve older versions of information for future reference may be useful on the same project. For many projects, particularly larger ones, where a lot of project documentation is expected to be produced, it may be beneficial to have a well-thought-out documentation plan. A documentation plan lay out the details about how the project documentation is to be structured and managed and it is usually developed early in the project cycle the plan may identify storage location for the information described earlier in these documents for documents that will be undergoing revisions the plan may also describes and progression for documents versions from inceptions to use the forms of update 
to eventual achievable. It may also note any applicable change in storage location as a document progresses from one state to another. The documentation plan may be easily accessible to the project team as well as anyone who is responsible for filing new or changed documents. Access, however, should be in accordance with the security and privacy policies of the organization. Once created, the documentation plan would be placed under PCM. 3.3 Item Identification Configuration identification is an organized structure described the compositions of objects within the project. These objects are termed CIs, standard baseline descriptions of the functions and physical attributes of these CIs are established to maintain control or change occurring to existing items and new end items or deliverables within the project. Generally, the project processes results in establishing a pro baseline and related descriptions in timely manner. Any chains from the baseline are documented further. Their effect on unique items and or approve the baseline effect are differences from the as planned through to the as release identifications of configuration items emphasize the final deliverables of the project as well as significant event or effect and present both the manner and client or a sponsor with recognizable points of achievement. Items selected from the project are at the level of significance enough to maintain control and may consist of one physical item. Number two, documents, form, and record. These four categories can be subdivided by the types of baseline example of significant items are items that must meet legal requirements Item that must meet legal requirements, item that must meet health and safety guidelines, item to be sent out to subcontractors, item that have an impact on the process or deliverables outside of the current project, and items that forms a large component of the project deliverables. 3.4 Taxonomy Scheme Formal review processes, status tracking, and management of chains requires that information describing on CI be differentiated from information describing another CIS. In practice, projects have found that CI must uniquely identified for control, processing, and tracking. Unique identification can be accomplished by assigning serial number on significant numbers or any established and project approved classification on HCI. Language usage within the identifier has been shown to reduce identification error and to allow ease of use. Therefore, the trend is to use a mix of mix of meaningful letters, example, denoting types of CI and numbers such as date, version, some organizations have identifiers in place for use in all activities. The complexity and sophistication needed for the categorizing system reflect the project size and relationship. The more complex the system is, the more time, resources, and budget should be assigned to the CI portions and taxonomy scheme. Depending on the types of the project and corresponding policy of the following identification, Types of con can be considered intelligence identifier referencing specific by including with the ID code category of item, physical documents, form, and record, hierarchical associations of other items, blueprint system specifications, and version control, original upgrade, complete chain, subcontractors, manufacturers, plant, and location, date is stamp, source of the item, project subcontract, existing company items. Format if computer based, then word processing software versions and plant form and serializations or control, lot control. Chapter 4 Configuration Chains Management. This chapter provides information about the managing chains in the context of PCM. 
it expands upon the information presented in the PM Book Guide 3rd edition and provides specific guidance with respect to the processes used for managing chains on a project. It includes the following major section, 4.1 Overview, 4.2 Identification, 4.3 Process, 4.4 Control, 4.5 Assessment and Approval, 4.6 Implementation, 4.7 Verification and Acceptance, 4.8 Closure, 4.1 Overview, the PIM Book Guide 3rd Edition, defines configuration management as a subsystem for overall project management. The process in PCM are utilized when the managing the fundamental project constraint of scope, time, cost, and quality. Configuration Chains Management CCM plays a crucial role in the managing this constraint as it encompasses the processes and procedure used to administer chains to configuration items CI. Applying CCM principles to the project artifact ensures numbers of benefit, including the core versions of configuration item is in use by the project team. Changes to configuration item are made only by authorized individuals. A plan means of notifying stakeholders of approved changes to configuration items is in place and a record of configuration items chains is kept to support auditing and project closure activities. CCM is applied when identifying the documenting chains and their impact on configuration items Changes are in process through the project change control system. In many application areas, the change control system is a subset of the configuration management system as described in Figure 4-1. Configura figure 4-2 illustrates the process required to execute configuration change management individual. The individual piece of the configuration chains management processes describes as follow baseline this is the latest baseline release by configuration management submit chains request this is step prepares the request ensuring that adequate information is applied to allow proper assessments of the impact of chains verify chains request this step ensures that all the information needed to carry out an evaluation has been provided. It established relationship between the proposed chains and items that will be impacted by the chains. Evaluate impact. This step evaluates the impact of the process chains. Technical cost, schedule, security, and contract impact are all evaluated. Identified the cost, schedule, Identi identifying the appropriate people to carry out the evaluations may be challenging. The need to ensure that all impact are identified must be balanced with the need to executing the process efficiently by doing only the necessary evaluation. Review decisions and plan. These steps considers the proposed change in light of the evaluated impact. The authority requires to approve a change will vary according to the types of the status of items affected. A proposed change may, of course, be rejected. Items which actually need to be changed are confirmed and work packages are established and or adjusted. Implement chains if approved. This step makes the chains track and progress and report status to the tracking system, relationship between the chains record and the items actually affected by the chains are established and updated. Conclude chains processes. This step ensures that the CCM process has been correctly followed and that there is appropriate evidence that chains has been satisfactorily implemented, typically a review process for documents Testing for code, authority to conclude a change is the same as the authority to prove it. Status is reported to the tracking system. Project management, project configuration management, project change control. Figure 4 does one, the hierarchy of control mechanism involves CCM. So the top is project management, the second is project configuration management, and the bottom is project change control. 
the figure for por, por das to is a CCM process. From the top is baseline, going to submit change request, verify change request, evaluate impact, review decision and plan, implement change. If approved, conclude change process. 4.2 Identification The PIM Book Guide 3rd Edition suggests that the clear distinctions be made between the plans and project performance measurement baselines. Specifically, it defines plan as project deliverables and should be expected to change over time and state that performance measurement baselines change only in response to approved scope of work or deliverables change. The identifications of the project deliverables, ACI, may be either formal or informal, the level of formality, the complexity of the CCM process, and the cost of supporting. The procedures should be appropriate to the needs of the project. CCM is usually described in the project change control plan or in the separate CM plan for the project size and complexity justify it. Ideally, the CCM process is described in one document and is scalable to the project. Ultimately, CCM should be readily visible to the project stakeholder so that constraint, scope, time, cost, and quality can be managed successfully. Paragraph 4.3 Process The change management process describes integrated change control as the system that covers the creations and value assessments of change requests. In addition, the change management process includes maintenance of baselines and managing the approved changes. In some system, authorizations for making change or document modifications is tracked and in other system authorization is electronically controlled through security access. CCM encompass the processes used to administer change to CI. A project may have a number of change management processes. CCM may be governed by industry standard or practice. CCM system and components has been developed for some practice such as manufacturing, software de development, and construction. A CCM process may include a number of components and a structured processes flow. The structured process flow describes the activities input, output, and controls for each step of the change process life cycle. The CCM components are mechaniz mechanism that supports the CCM process. A database listed information about CI is one such component. A change request form is another. A CCM process has process and procedures that serve to assure that all necessary aspects of configuration change management are addressed and decisions are accurately reflected. The CCM process serves a number of purpose in addition to prescribing administrative procedure. The numbers of process helps to ensure a stakeholder viewpoint are addressed. Impact on scope, time, cost, and quality are identified and documented. Assign personnel conduct evaluation. Recommendations and approval are sought and recorded, and decision are communicated by means of appropriate internal and external human interfaces. It is important to remember that the CCM process requires that the related procedures are documented and that the appropriate configuration baseline are established. It is imperative that the baseline provides for the identification and control of the CIS. In general, the sequence of events for an iterations of CCM process begins with the determination that a change is required. The impetus of change, for example, can be improvement and new requirements. Classifications of an existing requirements or an externally mandated change. The project documentation establishes responsibilities and procedure for documenting the needs of chains, as well as a procedure for submitting a chains request. Note that the chains control process has the tool and technique needed for the submission, recording, and retention of chains request. The CCM process is a type of workflow where the first set of activities involve the recognitions and documentations of a needed chains and the entry of the information into the change management system. 
the next set of activities is concerned with the evaluations and approval of the change request. These activities and their sequence can be quite complex of several organizations and or large body of documentation is involved. Often the evaluations include review by a configuration or change control board CCB or equivalent. The next set of activities include those related to process the results of the evaluations and approval activities. These activities include providing notifications, preparing for implementations of approved chains, implementing the chains, and validating that the chains occurred. Note that in some projects, the verifications of chains is performed by an operating element and a separate organizational element subsequently verifies the implementation. Paragraph 4.4 Control Fundamental control of chains to configuration items CI, may be achieved through the Project Management Information System PMIS, which supports a full audit trial and reporting of chains request. The request contains information appropriate to managing chains to provide deliverables depending on the application area and on the degree of deliverables complexity. The PMIS may be augmented or supplemented by the CI database. Formal controls of CI tends to focus on the unique deliverable being produced application area, such as architecture, engineering, construction, manufacturing, and computer system frequently are governed by industry standard or formal practice guidelines. Whichever formal or informal change management control ensures that each change request is tracked over its lifetime. Tracking would normally include the following as a minimum, a unique tracking numbers, originator information, timestamp, and synopsis of request. Practice is standard for project configuration management, page 1 to 20. <clears throat> this is the content preface, chapter 1, introduction, relationship with other standard, purpose of the practice standard, how to use this practice standard, what, what this practice standard is not, why apply CPM, PCM. Key point, audience. Chapter 2, Configuration Management Planning. Overview, Organization, Communication, Training, Configuration Management, and PCM. Chapter 3, Configuration Identification. Project Artifact, Structure, Item, Identification, Taxonomy, Scheme. Chapter 4, Configuration, Change Management. Overview, identification, process control, assessment, and approval, implementation, verification, and acceptance, and closure. Chapter 5, configuration status, accounting, and metrics, information repository, reporting, and analysis. Chapter 6, configuration, verification, and audit, verification, audit, verification, and audit activities. Appendix A, Guidelines for Project Management Institute Practice Standard. Appendix B, Evolutions of the Practice Standard on Project Configuration Management. Appendix C, Contributors and Reviewers of the Practice Standard on the Project Configuration Management. Appendix D, Examples and audio Additional Configuration Management Information. Appendix E, Sample Configuration Management Process and Forms. Appendix F, additional resource of information on configuration management, glossary and index. List of table and figures, FMEA, justification for CPM. Overlap of project and deliverables configuration items, PCM and CM interface. PCM communication system and human interfaces, harmonizations of project and discipline CM, 
PCM and Discipline CM. The hierarchy of control mechanism involving CCM. CCM process exhibit closed loop process from the Institute of Configuration Management. Sample outlines for configuration management CM plan. Change control form. Pre-paste this project management institute PMI practice standard on project configuration management PS PCM add to the PMI continuing commitment to support the project management professional with a defined body of knowledge and standard. PMI a guide to the project management body of knowledge third edition PM book guide document some of the overall project management body of knowledge PM book guide third edition is approved as an American National Standard by the American National Standard Institute and is a leading international standard for project management. This document is an extension and elaborations of the sections of PIM Book Guide, third edition, that defines the processes, technique, and tools used in project configuration management, PCM. This standard is a guide and preference from the project manager team and other stakeholder for understanding PCM and applying it appropriately in the project. Effective project management requires consistent and repeatable processes and methodologies to manage the constraint of scope, time, cost, and quality, and to ensure project success. The project management professional applies configuration management to actively guide the project directions and create the project inter infrastructure that enables successful completion. This is standards acknowledge PCM as a supporting discipline to the project process during the project life cycle. The PSPCM is organized onto the following focus area. Introduction provides the basis of the development of these standards and how it may be used by the project manager. Configuration management and planning introduce PCM concept and their relationship to project management. Configuration identification identifies project item that may be under control of PCM and provides guidance on identifying the structuring and in the information. Configuration change management provides guidelines in order to identify chains within the project. Configuration status accounting and metrics gives example of the tools and technique that can be employed to objectively, objectively measured progress and maturity of the item subject to PCM. Configuration verification and audit describes how independent scrutiny can assist a project team to confirm that the work done has the work intended. Chapter 1 Introduction Project Configuration Management PCM is the collective body of process, activities, tools, and methods used to manage certain items during the project life cycle. These items are normally referred to as Configuration Item CIS. Configuration Management CM typically describes the mechanism for managing the physical state of this item during their life cycle. As with any other profession, this body of knowledge rests with the practitioner who apply and advance it. The practice standard on project configuration management PSPCM is consistent with a guide to the project management body of knowledge being book guide third editions and provide additional information on the practice of CPM P PCM. <coughs> The PSPCM spans all controls functions found in Section 3 of the PM Book Guide 3rd Edition, including the integrated change control found in Chapter 4. The PSPCM describes the fundamental of CM for practitioners of project management. Objectives include explaining the concepts and benefits of CM in the context of the project management. Describe the type of processes used to apply CM as a project management tools. Presenting good practices in CM in the context of the project management. Promoting a common lexicon on applying CM 
across project. This chapter defines and explains several terms provided on the overview of the standard and include in the following major section. Relation